Just answer me, Tori. I gotta know. Why? If you don't remember, it didn't happen. Oh, my. It wasn't a dream. I made love to you at the lighthouse, didn't I? Yes. Don't, don't look at me that way. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm having a hard time figuring out how you could have let that happen. You reached out to me. You needed me. You needed somebody to make you believe that you were still alive. I thought you were going to die. I thought we were both going to die. How many reasons do you need? But you knew. I, I was out of my head. I didn't even know who you were. I did not stop to analyze it. I was scared to death. I was exhausted. I needed to feel not so alone. You reached out to me, so I took it. Even though you knew, I didn't know what I was doing. Yes. Yes, for all I know, the painkillers had finally made you forget all the reasons that you were not supposed to want me. I thought your true feelings were coming out. Oh. Well, I can tell you one thing for sure. That's not what was going on. <laughs> terrific, terrific. Punish me. Go ahead. Say it again. You didn't want me. I don't want to punish you. I just, I just want to understand why this happened. And why am I defending myself to you? Cruz, I heard you and Eden arguing before we even left Santa Barbara. You said it was over between the two of you. So who was I betraying by letting you make love to me? And you really believed it was over between Eden and me? You believed I would just forget about her after a few hours? What difference does it make now? <sighs> you have a, a habit of talking yourself into things that aren't true. You talked yourself into believing that Katie was okay when she was oh, out there in the water drowning. Oh, how compassionate of you to bring that up. I didn't realize how desperate you were to make this all my fault. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm trying to deal with this. And maybe you should do the same thing instead of wishing that things were true or dreaming about or hoping. Maybe you should think about what is real for a change, even though it's painful to admit. You want to get philosophical? I think for the first time, I am the one who's being honest, and you are scrambling around trying not to admit that you made love to somebody who was not Eden. Oh, no, no, you don't. That's not true. In my mind, as confused as I was, I was making love to you. And in my heart, you better get that straight. All I know is you have an awful big stake in believing that now. It does not mean it's true. You know, I think I'd be better off if you would just leave me alone for a while. What happens when Eden comes back? What about it? Are you going to tell her? I don't know. I thought you believed in truth above all things. I do, usually. Usually. What about this time? I don't think Eden can be expected to understand this. Will you, will, you, will you just please let me do what I need to do? Cruz, the doctor wouldn't even let you walk down the hospital corridors. You're all crazy to be leaving the hospital. If Eden is going to hear what happened in the lighthouse, she's going to hear it from me, not from her little brother. I can't imagine that Ted would even say anything. Well, I'm not going to take that chance, thanks. He knows that he would hurt her. Well, maybe he thinks he's doing her a favor. You know, maybe that's why she hasn't called me back here. Maybe she's already heard. There are a million reasons why, why she couldn't, why she didn't take your call. Look, for the first one being that you told her it was over between the two of you. Cruz, I'm sorry I, I told you this. I, I don't want you to do anything so crazy. You did tell me. And I'm not going to sit around here like a helpless fool. I can't let you do this. I can't. I care about you too much. Tori, if you care about me, if you really care about me, you won't try to stop me.
first cruise. Did they he went for tests. He went to look for you. What? Yeah, I tried to stop him, but when he couldn't reach you on the telephone, he took it upon himself to try to find you. Why didn't you answer his phone call? Oh, I don't think it's any of your business. He thought something was wrong. Well, maybe it is. I'm sure you're probably the only one who know about that, though, wouldn't you? Who have you been talking to? About what? About me and Cruz. Have you been talking to your brother, Ted? What if I have? Well, he, he doesn't know the whole story. He just thinks he knows what happened. But what he really story? Did... Ted didn't tell me any story. But you just said that you were talking... I, swear, I was talking to him, yes, about Cruz and me and you. Mainly, Ted just listened. Well, fine, let's just leave it at that, okay? No, Victoria, if there's a story to be told, I'd like to hear it from you. I will, just as soon as you answer me. Eden, he could hardly walk when he left here. I'm worried about him. Would you please answer me? I'm the wrong person to talk to. Well, you're obviously involved, right? So something happened while you and Cruz were waiting to be rescued, is that it? Talk to Cruz. Well, you know, I, I know what it must have been like. I mean, I thought about it. I mean, you didn't know whether you were, you were going to be alive or, or dead, right? I mean, the two of you, all you had was each other. It was very intense emotionally. Cru Cruz thinks of you in a different way. Is that it? Am I close? He depended on me. There was no one else. Would you just come out and say it to me, please? Face to face, I know you want to. Cruz is going to have to answer your questions. You're going to have to wait. Why'd you even bother to come? There's something you need to know. And it's important you hear it from me. That I love you. When I thought I might never see you again, I was willing to do anything. I would have made any kind of bargain just so I could get back and make things right. Don't you know this makes things worse? I know what happened. I know you slept with her. No, you gotta give me a chance to explain. Would you that. please admit no, it? Listen, I wanna tell you why. Yes or no! Have... You slept with Tori. You made love to her. Yes. Eden, I thought it was you! You're always around, aren't you? You're always right there. You know, since you came into town, every day, you wanted things your way. Well, you've got things your way. You'll pardon me if I don't stick around for the happy reunion. Bruce? Bruce? 